Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to another video. Alright, so I got a lot of comments about uh, apparently Ruby has like four trailers. I think it's one for red, white, yellow and black. Which of course makes sense because that is the acronym for Ruby. But yeah, never mind. But yeah, I think that's uh, I think it's just those four. Uh, it's about 20 minutes long. I found a video that just has all of the trailers on. So we're just going to watch all of them rather than try and milk it for four separate videos that are like five minutes long. It just seems pointless doing that. So yes, let's watch all the trailers. Apparently they gave you a backstory on like each of the characters. So that'll be fun because I have no idea what is going on at all with that show. But yes, without further ado, Let's get into it. Alrighty then. Rooster Teeth. As a part from Rasta Teeth, which is what I said last time. Don't know where I got that from. Ooh. What, are they all like songs? Nah, they can't be songs. The videos run for like 10 minutes each. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe they are songs. I don't know. But yeah, I know that each of the characters are apparently based off of, like, actual characters. So, I gathered that Red is Red Riding Hood. That makes sense. Uh, white is, I'm assuming, Snow White. Joan Arc, or John Arc, whatever his name was. Joan of Arc. I'm assuming. <laughs> it's mad because you can. This obviously must have made, been made first. I'm assuming, and you can just tell the lower quality compared to like volume one. I turn that down a little bit. It's a bit loud. Oh no! Oh! Hello! So what, you can just boost your attack mid-attack? What is that? Okay. So, it can let every form of that scythe can just be... a gun? That was cool. Alright, no, no, yeah. I will say that the fight choreography in this uh, show is pretty goddamn nutty at times. And apparently it just gets better and better, so... Yeah, she's literally killing wolves and she's wearing red, so if it wasn't Red Riding Hood, I would be genuinely amazed. Oh, 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 oh my god, she's strong. I, I'm trying to talk, but my there, there is so much happening right now. Fucking bravo! What the hell was that? What was that? Oh, were those guns? Maybe. Well, we're, uh... <laughs> we're one town. Three to go. That was, that was a lot. That was a lot happening. Everybody is entitled to their own sorrow. For the heart has no me- Okay. I was trying to read it in a very... Cool way. Apparently, it didn't like that. Is she in a concert? Apparently so. So...
turned up my headphones so I can actually hear it. <laughs> oh, okay. So, this is like a sucker punch situation if people have ever seen Sucker Punch. Pretty cool movie. So is her whole thing speed? Like, she's got like a rapier. And uh, she's pretty goddamn swift. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like I say, apparently the animation only gets better from Volume 1, which, you know, it, it does tend to happen. You know, the more budget you have, the better quality you have. Oh, I thought that was it. I was going to say that <laughs> that ended so quick. So, yeah, I can't wait to see uh, how good it's going to look later on. Alright, so what was that like? Was that like four different abilities? What's that? The heat? Frost? Oh, is this the dust stuff that uh, they were going on about? Does she have like a canister like of each of them? On a sword or something? Pretty cool! Sorry, I'm just mesmerized right now. Okay, that was pretty goddamn cool. Too mesmerized with the with the actual action to really listen to what the song was saying. I hope I hope it didn't have like integral background story to her cuz I I pretty much missed all of it. So that was his epic. All right, I'm going to pause it real quick. So yeah, um when I said it was I don't know if anyone's ever seen the movie Sucker Punch, but basically it's about this girl who uh she doesn't really have like a home or anything. So she ends up going to like a brothel. And she, like, lives there. It's, like, a foster home. And every night, they have to, like, go out and dance and perform for, like, people. But she doesn't want to do it. And she doesn't like doing it. So, as she's dancing, she kind of imagines herself in these different scenarios where, like... I think one of them's like, she's, like, fighting off Nazi zombies. Uh, there's one where she's fighting this, like, samurai and all that. And there's all these, like, fantasy-type things. That just reminded me so much of it when I was watching it. I don't know if that was the situation, or if she was just singing and just remembering a dance, a, a, a fight that she had. Or if, you know, she's just uncomfortable in that position and is more comfortable fighting a giant, sentient piece of armor. Your hopes have become... Oh my god, damn it. One day I'll catch it. So yeah, I don't know if that's what it was, but it just reminded me of that movie so much. <laughs> Blake. Okay. So how important is Blake? Is she like, oh, quick? I don't know who that guy is with her. I don't rec yeah, I don't recognize him at all. Has he been in any of the uh, three episodes that I've done so far? Because I don't recognize him. I mean, he looks kind of cool. That's a samurai sword. Don't be so dramatic. Are they... 
fugitives, like lawbreakers, you know? Are they trying to get cargo from there? Oh, that was cool. A lot less jokey, but just the way that he fought there just reminds me of uh, Dante from Devil May Cry. So why can't real life be like this? It will be so much more fun. I tell you now, once virtual reality full dive becomes a thing, I'm leaving this world. Oh my god, so she's got like what, a whip? Bladed gun? Someone commented saying, welcome to Ruby, where everything is a gun. They were not kidding. <laughs> my god. Actually, he reminds me more of Virgil than Dante. Perfect. Move up to the next car. There's something behind you. The what about the crew members? Nope. Was I tripping? No, there was something. Okay, <laughs> I thought so. So, yeah, well, they, so they're trying to steal stuff. So I'm assuming they're like, uh, maybe, I don't know if they're like contractors, maybe? Are they working for someone or are they just trying to get something for themselves? I, don't know. I have no idea. God, big blast. Do it! Find me some time! <laughs> oh, she's pretty badass to be fair with you. Oh, come on. Slice it in half. Nope, just... Just tank it. Alright. Oh, can he, like, absorb the power or something? What's that? Did you just like, absorb the power and just disintegrate the thing? My god. Hell yeah. Bye. <gasps> Betrayal? Interesting. I mean, I guess <clears throat> it explains why she's kind of moody all the time. I mean... I, 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 I'm going to assume it obviously gives more backstory as to why she left. At least I really, really hope so. Because uh, it would suck if, you know, you watch the trailer for it. And obviously there's this backstory of her and this other guy doing all this stuff. And she's obviously left for a reason. But I don't know the reason. Right, if there's some text that is about to show up, I swear to God, I'm... Scathing eyes, ask you to be symmetrical, one side is easy processed, yet... Uh... How is anyone supposed to read that? I could have paused it, but, you know. <laughs> Where's the fun in that? Well, I don't know the way they're showing the like the silhouette, but with the the hair color like super prominent. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so all of these are just like songs, or, like music videos. She's just out here in a nightclub. Okay. So backstory is she's a heavy drinker. Wait, 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 wait. Rewind that a second. 
Is that that? Is that that same dude that we just saw? Or is that the one from like the first episode? I can't tell. I don't know who those other two girls are. I, them two, I've never seen them before. Definitely not. Oh, she. She goes straight for the meat and two veg. Ow. She went straight for the weakness, though. <laughs> Blondie, sir. Ouch. <laughs> Acting all macho as soon as he gets his balls released. Yeah, you're gonna pay for that. Dude, what are you like? <laughs> what the hell were you expecting, dude? Come on. You think she went up to like fucking second base and then was just like, yeah, I'll give you a quick smooch. Her weapons are pretty cool, the like fist ones. Oh, hello. I like how everyone in the show is just like a freaking top grade fighter. Oh my god, like, dude. So she's just straight up fist fighter then, okay. Oh? <laughs> oh my god, let's teach her a lesson. Reminds me of Nero, Devil May Cry 4. Does something similar, very cool, like it. Okay, so are these, I'm assuming these are like twins. Both have opposite powers, maybe, you know. That typical trope. <laughs> She's kicking the shit out of them though, my good god. So what, she like, uses her feet more like... Looks very Twycondo like. Oh, but it doesn't matter because she just got knocked the fuck out. Oh, guy's got a rocket launcher. That fires like four rockets at one. Ah, oh, it's his weapon. Of course it is. Everything's a gun. So she has a bat that turns into a. Uh, oh, it should turn up the hair into fire. Okay. So are elements like a big thing in this show? Like fire, ice, wind, all that good stuff? Or does it depend on this like dust stuff that they use? Oh, there she is. Such a completely normal combo. <laughs> Alright, well that is all of the trailers watched. Not gonna lie to you, I, I wasn't expecting them to be like that. I know someone said that they do give like a bit of backstory on some of the characters, which they have. But pretty much what I've gathered from is that Ruby, I'm assuming that is her name, uh, she's definitely gotta be Red Riding Hood. She's wearing a red hood 
she's fighting wolves. I don't know if she's literal Red Riding Hood, like her backstory is that, or she's just based off of the character. Weiss or Weiss or however you pronounce her name. Uh, she's gonna be like Snow White, but I don't, like her trailer just seemed more like she was like, I don't know. I, I, couldn't really, I couldn't really get what it was. It was just her singing on the stage. And then in her head, she was like fighting something. So like I said, I couldn't tell if it was a, a sucker punch sort of scenario or if she was just like thinking back to a better time where she was fighting this giant sentient piece of armor. I have no idea. Uh, Blake, obviously she actually had like some backstory to her, like this whole situation with, I don't know if it was her brother or if it was just some guy she was working with and that she's known but her like cutting ties with him and maybe their family, I have no idea. And going off and obviously she goes to the school and everything and that's when, you know, volume one takes place. And then Blondie, she, yeah, I mean, that, her trailer was just basically showing how badass she is. I don't know if you see those two twins again or that guy who has a very squeaky voice now. Poor thing. But uh, it'd be pretty cool if you did see them two again because they were pretty cool. Um, yeah. I like the trailers. I really did enjoy them, but I'm gonna continue watching Volume One. Uh, like I said, I've had lot, so many, so many comments, so many comments talking about how much better, if that's the correct way of saying that, the show gets the later the volumes go on because the 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 budget and everything is just so much better, and it has so many volumes. It's got a crap ton of volumes, so hopefully I'll be able to watch them all. But yeah. If you guys did enjoy it, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, hope you guys have a great day, and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.